It's, it's July. July. Absolutely. What can I say? You ready to get to today's Daily Dish? Yes, bring the Let's dish. Let's do it. Quadruplets went from matching huh. outfits, how cute, to matching acceptance letters. Aaron, Nigel, Zachary, and Nicholas Wade cool. all got into nearly 60 universities, including Duke, Harvard, Stanford. They landed at Yale because financially Yale offered the best package. Technically, three of the four graduated this year. Aaron is still working on his senior thesis, and they're each pursuing different careers, and it'll be the first time that they're all living in the same state after a while. They're not all living in the same state. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because he's got to finish the senior thesis. i tell you what. I live next door to a couple that had quadruplets, and that's when my son was like a year old. You know, and I'm sitting there thinking, you know, I'm, you know I've got this son, and of course, you know, you know how it is, you're changing lots of diapers. Lots of when diapers, you're, imagine having you're constantly, that many. Like, feeding, you know, trying to put him to sleep, all this kind of stuff. And I thought, this is work. And then I'd go next door to visit the couple, I'm thinking, this is <laughs> nothing like what these guys are going through. I mean, it's like, because you got all these kids running around, and it's like, and they're not, you know, you got to change the diaper. You change this one, then you got to change that one. Then you got to change that one. Constant and like a year laundry, old, like two constant years old. food, um, constant Yeah, it's like it's play, just nonstop. stop And I'll never forget, the husband came home one day and says, Honey, i got a great idea. When they turn five, we're going to homeschool them. And she looked at him and said, then you're going to do it. <laughs> and did they? And did they? Nope. Uh, off to, there was off to no homeschooling school. to be done there. She, she, good for her. She, she was, drew her line yeah, in the she, sand. Yeah, she did a break. You know what I'm saying? So she got it. Yeah, <laughs> well, anyway. we're going from uh, quadruplets to triplets right okay, now. Okay, well, there we go. After giving birth to triplets and feeling stagnant during the coronavirus epidemic, this uh, Edinburgh mom of seven is taking her fitness journey to the new level. Okay. After being a collegiate soccer player at Edinburgh University, Ashley Ponza was always had a passion for being fit and now after all these youngins she's decided to try to achieve her dream of being on the cover of muscle and fitness hers magazine she's already one of 35 in her division and currently she sits in first place she has to finish first in her division by Thursday to advance to the quarterfinals where she then needs even more votes to advance once again the semifinals uh, will get her there the winner will be determined by August 5th so we say good luck to you mama Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Well, that's pretty impressive if you know, she had triplets and to bounce back from that, because I can imagine that'd be kind of tough. Yeah, because you know, it so blows my old baby weight story away. I didn't have triplets, and I'm still using the baby weight 40 <laughs> something years later. Well, it was those kids that did it. Yeah. Having those kids. Always nice to blame the kids for that. No, that's kind of cool. So, we got, wait a minute. Let me guess. This next story is about twins. Oh, it should have been, but it's not. Well, it, it kind of is. It's about twin maps. Uh, to help uh, people connect in downtown Evansville, new maps in downtown. This is so cool. They were installed yesterday in the city of Evansville parking garages. They're found at 500 Sycamore Street and 3rd and Locust and the Double Tree. The maps were funded by downtown property owners through the Downtown Evansville Economic Improvement District. Now, you, to view the map of businesses, you visit downtownevansville.com, but they have a code, so you can put your phone up there, and it will give you a code to say if you want to go to Brew or, oh, you know, the museum or whatever. Oh, like every intersection, you know, Isn't that in wonderful? downtown, that'd be kind of nice. Yes. Just boom, you could find out where it is. Yeah, that is really cool. I like that. The downtown. Oh, downtown. One more, things. two more cool things, three more cool things in downtown. But you were the first cool thing in downtown. I don't need a map. I am the map. <laughs> you are the concierge. I am the concierge. I do have to get a booth. Of Main Street. The mayor will be on here soon. I'll ask him about Yeah, that. please bring Lloyd's Lo down there. He's, he's one of your neighbors. I mean, you can well, always... there's a stipend that goes with that. I, would... <laughs> <laughs> I can write for a grant. The easiest gig I've ever seen is when I walked into an elevator in New York City one time, and I'm about to press the button, you know, to go to the first right? floor, right? right? And some dude is sitting on a stool right there and goes, ah, ah, I've got it for you. What floor? I said, fourth. Boom. He expected a tip. Yeah, and did you? <laughs> no, I didn't. I said, dude, I could have done that myself. How are you making money off this? <laughs> Angie just go to the corner though. and just say, the maps are in the parking garage. The just I, could, I could just do that and point. <laughs> there you point. go. <laughs>